Hi everyone, it's Brenda and I'm back with another video to share uh, another pattern. Um, so I was asked to do a different pillow pattern and I have my scissors, my olive yarn. Uh, this is Eternal Bliss. I'll put a link in the description below for this yarn and I've got a 16 by 16 pillow insert. Um, you can really do any size of a square pillow. Um, if you haven't made a square pillow before, I'll also put a link below to my beginner's um, video. So I created a cast on of 12 and through the, um, the arms of both sides of the chain is how I pulled the stitches through. So we're going to go ahead and keep now I'll start the pattern here I've got my stitches pulled through um, like I said the cast on was 12 and so this pattern is going to be a knit and then a purl three for purl you push it through the front and then a knit three and then a purl three and another knit then we'll just keep turning it around and repeating that pattern knit one and purl three knit three and purl three and knit one uh, as soon as we get a few more rows of the pattern done I will fold it in half so that the stitches stay closer together so here we're gonna knit one because we're starting the next row purl three knit three purl three knit one and we'll just continue this knit one purl three knit three and on the sixth row we're going to do the crossover for a cable a knit one so always do a knit one at the beginning and the end of each row and now i'm going to flip it over and uh, fold it in half <clears throat> so I knit the one and now I'm going to purl three. It'll take a little bit of time to get it to lay flat. Purl three. Knit one. And we'll turn it over. Just tuck that tail inside. Now we're going to knit one to start the row and purl three. So you're going to knit three. And we're going to do the crossover in the middle just like you would any cable blanket. And knit one. <clears throat> Turn it over. Knit one. Purl three. And knit three.
purl three and knit one. Knit one, purl three. Knit one, two, three, and purl three. <clears throat> and knit one. Let's see how many rows we've got here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> On the next row, we're going to do our crossover. So we're purling three, again knitting three, and purling three, and a knit one. You see the pattern is turning out really nice. So this row, we are going to do our crossover. We'll knit one, purl three, and we will lay down two, pull this one over, and then knit these two over top of that one. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So then we're, we will purl three, knit one purl three and then we will lay down two knit that one and then knit the two over top and purl three one two three and then knit the last now we're going to go around since we completed our crossover and do five more rows of the same pattern that is knit one purl three knit three purl three knit one and knit one purl three knit one two three purl three knit one and we'll do the same on the other side and after this row I will come back when we do our next crossover It really doesn't matter if you want your cable to lay flatter then I would just cross over after seven rows but I usually do it on row six if you want it to stand out more you could do it on row five um, okay so I'll be back when we do our next crossover Okay, we're ready to cross over onto row six. So, knit one, purl three. And this is going to be our last crossover of the pillow. Oops. Uh, fold two down, knit one over, cross two over the top, purl three. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any suggestions for um, patterns you'd like to see. Knit one, purl three. I appreciate that. Put two down, knit one over, and knit two over the top. 
Earl III. I love to see your comments and suggestions. Pearl three. Nick three. Pearl three. Three and knit one. And turn it over. Knit one. Pearl three. and purl three knit one I'm going to go ahead and knit a couple more rows and see where we're at knit one purl three Pearl three and knit one. Turn it over. Knit one, pearl three. Knit three. Pearl three and knit one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can fit our pillow insert into here and if it's large enough yet. This yarn does stretch quite a bit, so it's good to have a tight fit. Okay, so approximately I've done 19 rows um, in length. And what I've done is I've trimmed off um, my yarn. It'll probably end up being a little bit extra, but it's th approximately three um, widths of the pillow. So, um, the way that I do this is I could take the tail and go through the stitch here. Hopefully this angle you can see, and then pull that snug. You don't want to have any loose, um, yarn here at the top because you'll be able to see your pillow through it. So we're going to go flip it over and go through, where is it, these two stitches. And flip it over and go through these two stitches with your tail and pull it through. See how I'm pulling it snug? Flip it over and take these two stitches and pull it through. And you just keep flipping it over and doing, uh, and this time I'm going to take the previous stitch I did in the next one and go through those two. Now that I've got it going, good. I'm going to take the previous stitch in the next one and go through. Keep 
flipping it over. Previous stitch in the next one. Pull it through. See how it's getting nice and snug. And we just continue this until we get to the end of our pillow. These two, pull your tail through, turn it over, these two, and pull it through. And here we go with these two, and pull it through. These two and pull it through. And these two and pull it through. The nice thing about this pattern is that you're going to have the same uh, look on both sides. Go through these two and pull it. And then these two come through. These two and go through. These two can go through. Then you have one stitch left. So you take the previous stitch and this one stitch and go through. Like I said, so you, you could probably do um, uh, two widths of the pillow um, to close it up and see how that closed it up nicely. And now I'm going to trim this off. Get that off of there. I'm going to tie a knot with a double knot. And I am going to weave this in to the inside. And here is your pillow. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, pattern. And please like and subscribe. Happy knitting!